In this video, we'll see how to process product returns from customers. When a product is returned, we apply a reason code. But before we set up our reason codes, we'll first set up a reason code group by going to Sales and Marketing, Setup, Returns, Return Reason Code Groups. And we'll enter a new group, put in an ID and a description. And now we can enter directly our return reason codes. Again, a new one, we'll put in a numerical ID this time and a description. And we can continue adding reason codes. After a return has been inspected, we need to assign it a disposition code, which determines how the return will be processed physically and financially, and whether a charge will be applied to the customer. We can create a disposition code, again through setup and disposition codes, and new. There are six predefined disposition actions and we can specify a return fee or handling charge under charges to be automatically applied based on the disposition code or return code reason. Now we'll create a new customer return order by going back to sales and marketing, sales returns or return orders and we'll create a new return order. We'll choose the customer account, choose this one, the contact, and under the general tab, we'll select the return reason code. We'll select the one we uh, created before and choose OK. Now, to find the item being returned, we'll go to Find Sales Order. We'll select the line and enter the quantity to be returned and click OK. Now, we'll print the return order under Send Return Order and click OK. And we'll see our RMA number. To start processing the arrival of the returned item, we'll go to Inventory Management, Inbound Orders and Arrival Overview, and we'll see under Arrival Options, the Arrival Overview Profile Name, and this should be Return Order. Under the Receipts Fast tab, we can select for Arrival, and now Start Arrival. We are now going to credit the customer and return the item to inventory after repair. So we'll go to journals and show arrivals from receipts. We need to edit and under the general tab, journal line, we have to enter the disposition code, which will be 12 for credit, repair and add to inventory. And then we'll post the journal. Operation completed.